Uh, you know, please give him a round of applause. I know, I know most of you people don't know him, and he's a little shy, but um, he's, uh, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's an incredible accountant, and uh, that's about the best I can say. Please welcome to the stage my friend Robert M. Kaplan, CPA. out there tonight? You. Yeah. You see, you hear that? We're rowdy party people. We know how to party. And I really think that accounts are exciting people, and I don't like the jokes that are made about accounts. Like, we're bean counters, or what do you get, for example, when you cross a really ferocious man-eating tiger with a CPA. A dull tiger. <laughs> <laughs> or, what's an accountant's pickup line? What? Hey baby, let me come, why don't you come to my office and I'll demonstrate double entry bookkeeping. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We're not like that, we're exciting human beings and my goal is to have the world fall in love with accountants. It's a very simple goal. But I realized in order to do that, we have to have positive media role models. We can't just have Norm from Cheers. Remember Norm? Alcoholic, double sets of books. That's why I'm pitching right now a TV reality show to Fox called Surprise Audit. <laughs> Getting excited? Each week, the IRS would pick a different small business to audit. The business would be defended by a good-looking CPA. That's sort of redundant. Anyway, in this week's episode, a small business, we'll call them a contractor, grossing under $50,000 a year, has written off skyboxes for the Giants, 49ers, Warriors, and Sharks. Things are not going too well on the audit, but the CPA uses their knowledge of the tax law to win the day and get the equivalent of accounting nirvana, a no-change audit. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool on TV? <laughs> yeah. Another idea I have is for a Star Wars episode featuring Luke Number Cruncher, CPA. <laughs> no, Darth Vader. I will protect myself with my Pentel 0.5 millimeter lightsaber pencil. <laughs> That's a real one, by the way. <laughs> I will not go to the dark side, the Empire. I will not work for the Internal Revenue Service. <laughs> But Luke, come <laughs> to the dark side. <laughs> there are great benefits here, including a killer medical plan and a wonderful pension. No, Dad, I could not abandon my friends, C3P1040. <laughs> and R2W2. <laughs> Don't worry, Luke, you'll make lots of new friends. After all, there are far more government workers than the entire private sector. <laughs> but my personal favorite, I'm sorry, is an accounting theme park. It would be better than Disneyland. Like the Matterhorn, there'd be an exciting ride through its Swiss bank. <laughs> Think about it, you get to see the secret rooms and all the chambers and everything, and at the end of the ride, you have a steep drop into a slush fund. <laughs> In another part of the park, we have a terrifying ride. Pirates 
of the IRS Service Center, Fresno, California. <laughs> and for the kids, Mr. Toad's wild ride to an out of control, overdrawn checking account. <laughs> Almost too much. <laughs> but I realize that we won't reach the tipping point for a love of accounting. And I hope you're feeling that love right now. <laughs> it's one person. <laughs> we won't reach that tipping point until we have the first great accounting artist. And I present my nominee for the first great accounting artist. Ladies and gentlemen, Bad Abacus. <laughs> in the house. Is everybody in balance tonight? I can't hear you. Are you in balance? Balance that bling. This is a remix of my first song, which you may have remembered, called Debits and Credits. That song. This one's called Net worth. <laughs> I'm so bad, I'm good. I'm a rapping fool, I make the women drool. I did good in school, yo, CPAs rule. These are the backup singers. He did good in school, and he makes the women drool. <laughs> Back to bad advocacy. I'm not shy, I'll tell you why. I really, really, uh, I'm really fly. <laughs> I'm not shy, I'll tell you why. I really fly and I reach, reach for the sky. sky. I got great stuff that ain't no fluff. And watch me now, I'm gonna go freestyle. This is a lot, particularly on the hip. I got an LLC, an LLP, an S-Corp, and a C. Me. I got a Lamborghini, a Maserati, a Ferrari, and a Camry. Huh? I ain't blowing smoke, yo. I got a cool home in Tokyo. I got a great portfolio. And I'm rolling in the dough. Yo. yo. <laughs> Try to rhyme with y'all folks. <laughs> I got lots of bucks, but I'm modest. Aw shucks. Back up singing. He's got lots of bucks, but he's modest. Aw shucks. <laughs> Listen up, Redwood City. I say net, you say worth. Okay? And I'll explain what that is later. Net. 